Hey guys, welcome back to Park Tech University. In today's episode, we'll be exploring how to make transfer tracks for your roller coasters to give them, a, give them that a little bit more of a uh, realism look. So, I'm going to show you how I built this particular one in front. There's a couple different designs in the world of how to make transfer tracks, but I'm going to make a very simple one that's the most easiest one to replicate in Parkitect. So, a slide track type of thing. and. I'm going to show you a little animation of how a transfer track would go. And so as the train appears and pulls up into the transfer track bay, it will slide the train over to the bottom track and to the maintenance track and onto it, then onto its um, maintenance bay. So that's usually how a transfer track would work. It can go vice versa. Uh, most transfer tracks can be on well, it could be in the front of the station or the back of the station, depending on how you design your coasters. Mostly, it's in the back of the coaster. So, let's go on to showing you some of the pieces I use for this little transfer track. And yeah, we'll just go over there now. So, here are the pieces of what I most likely used for the transfer track. We're going to also work on some custom catwalks because everything in this build or tutorial is going to be all um, vanilla so construction anarchy is off and no scenery mods so this could be 100% done in campaign mode if you really really wanted to make your coasters more realistic and first things first is to set up the tracks themselves now it will look better with a full completed coaster but in this case I'm just going to show you what it would look like so we're going to keep everything in the gray so that it makes it very easy on the eyes. So we're going to first do a steel coaster, height of 4, depending on... It's all up to you how high the transfer track is, but I'm going to make it at 4. And then I usually do, let's say this is the end of the coaster, so there's a brake run. And then there's a block brake, another block brake, and then it ends up into a... Let's say, here's the station. This is where the station is going to sit. So this is just the idea. I'm going to delete the back one because I don't need it. But just imagining that this is our train coming in from a break into the station and then here it is so far. We're going to paint this red so that... Actually, let's do this. We're going to paint it red so we can tell the difference between the two different tracks. So here's the red track. This is a uh, main track. So we're just going straight in. And then let's go build the second track. Now usually I do the same coaster. This will cost a lot of money if you're doing this in campaign mode, so keep that in mind. So we'll make it the same height. I'm gonna make it in the same direction. So let's just imagine that. Yeah, we'll just put it in the same spot. We're gonna do block breaks like this. Up to there and stop. Delete the back. And just imagine this piece of track extends out this way toward a maintenance shed or it turns off to a maintenance shed who knows so we're gonna make this blue so we can tell the difference oh I must I did something wrong also I just realized but let me first make it blue so the transfer track is not dead let me in mistake so here let's first delete that section that's better so I need to leave one space open because technically speaking this red track like you saw in the diagram the animation needs to slide downwards. So we're going to make ourselves a little bit of a grid system with borders, and this is kind of how it would show up like this. So here's our little grid system. Um, the supports, the best way to kill them would be to do a slew of pathways. It's kind of the easiest way to do it. So I got rid of all the supports to kind of help out with that. It actually helps out a lot in this aspect. So let's move that piece right there. There we go. And let's do some pillars to help it support it. All the way across. And then we're going to do cylinder to simulate like a concrete ballast or a support for the supports. I do a big border like this at 3.75 to give that cross beam connection. It actually helps a lot. A half pillar to give it that the is it called the running boards or these running rails to stop on 
so they don't do too much. So kind of now you can imagine that this piece moves over to the right. I think that's just the best way you can imagine it. You have to kind of use your imagination a little bit to kind of imagine what the pieces would do or the track would slide over. It's good to watch a whole bunch of like um, uh, transfer track videos on YouTube. I did. I also watched a lot of transfer tracks when I went to like Disneyland. So like, like, like um, Big Thunder Mountain has an interesting transfer track. It's like a turntable. Um, some are slides, but usually the slide ones are usually for maintenance bays because they're kind of out of sight. Um, but yeah, this is the cl best thing you could do with it. And I think this looks really cool. This is a cool slide over. So we just now finished the whole gimbal system that holds the rail in place. So just imagine if the train was actually really small, two by two, two train, car, rolls up, slides over. Um, you also want to keep in mind that you want to make your transfer tracks as big as the train that you're trying to make. So like for example, the train, the coaster before was, I think, six cars. I made sure that it was like seven tiles long, so the transfer track was pretty large that had to move over. So let's first do let's do the catwalk first. So this is the side wall. This is the overhanging roof from the hangar set. This is good because it it sits in a block. So like if I go one over here, I did, here I'm gonna put it on the floor. If I did that and that it kind of sits in the middle and then the track sits in the center so it actually works really well as a catwalk especially on flat ground so I'll make it at 4.5 because that's basically as high as you want it and then I took this border color to kind of just flush it out and then did fences stacked on top of each other twice give it that a catwalk type feeling and now it looks funny that it's not it's just floating so we're gonna try to connect it we're gonna use this cube and this cube sitting at 0.15 on grid 8 and we're just going to center it and just lower it to kind of match the oh, two two okay this should be the perfect spot yep so we're just imagining that it's you don't have to do this but if you really want like realism to it Adding this in actually helps give you that illusion that this, this catwalk's going to move along with the track and it kind of just completes itself. The other little details that I like to do are might not necessarily be important. So like I do, I put this little piece here to kind of give it like a sense of motor, but it's not important. You might not see it, so I don't suggest you have to do it. And the last thing I forgot to do is going to be a like electric box that houses the electronics for said ride and I usually use the chimney piece I'll make it gray we're gonna place it about like right here out of sight we're gonna make about two of them yeah we can make two of them and then some cable pieces ah not to be lost it's a little one like this that kind of just leads back to the maybe the the station or it could lead back to the, I don't know, it can go, yeah, back to the station or back to the main, main, maintenance bay. It can go either way. But this is kind of the suggested way to do a transfer track. This is just a small version. There's so many other versions of a transfer track that I can go probably long time into. I know there's versions where it's an S-bend instead of a straight, so the S-bend will be off kilt and then go in. So that could be a way you can do it. But this just adds a little bit more realism to your coasters, I think. I say so. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else on the coasters. Here's the uh, coaster again. Now, see, I did a different one versus the one I just showed you to work on. This is a bypass track. So as the whole section slides over, so both pieces of track slide over. So one train can be on here getting dispatched, and then a train that's still in the loop or the circuit can still go through without being interrupted without having this piece of track not there versus this one the track would be gone and so a train would have to stop prior to this gap so there is that but yeah this is um episode 7 of Park Tech university transfer tracks and um hope you guys found this enjoyable uh let me know if you guys want any more types of university videos on certain subjects leave some suggestions in the comments maybe and yeah i think this was a fun one to kind of put together because yeah trying to think of how 
their how they work and how they kind of work with your coasters is a fascinating way to learn about coasters actually doing it yourself and so this adds a little bit more realism so yeah hope you guys enjoy it this video and i will catch you guys in the next episode bye